Hello everyone, welcome back to Utopia. As you can see, today I'm making a video somewhere else, somewhere new. And this is my new apartment in Switzerland. And I thought, what a better place to talk about the indirecte approbation in Switzerland, a topic that is long awaited that I promised long ago, and uh, expand on the other video I made about Switzerland like last year, in which I let this topic unfinished. As you know, in order to get the Swiss approbation, you could do it in the direct way, which I explained last video. And if that doesn't work, you could do it in indirect way. And there's other things you can do if you don't feel the requirements for any of them. And that's what we are going to talk about today. First of all, we need to know what is the official information that we can use that we know that for sure as of today is true. And this official information comes from MEBECO. MEBECO stands for Medicinal Beruf Commission and they belong to the Ministry of Health and they are the ones responsible for the approbation and recognizing of the diplomas. Now, you could just email them and ask them a bunch of questions, tell them about your life, about your situation, and they would guide you. You can do it. The email is in the description. But if you just want information and to be more prepared before you do so, they also have a website. It's not their own website. It, it's inside the health ministry's website. It's BAG. And there you have a lot of information about every single step of each kind of approbation. And we are going to go through them and analyze them a little bit and see who can do what and what is the way to do things depending on your nationality, depending on where you studied. First of all, a very important rule that will apply is that the conditions that need to be met, they need to be met at the same time, at the time of applying. They cannot have been met last year, but not be true anymore. Let's go, first of all, with the direct approbation. We have seen this already. And as you can see, these are the main conditions for the direct approbation. It's written at the very beginning. You can also scroll down in their own website, of which I will send a link in the description down below, of course. Opens a PDF and you can read uh, which those descriptions are. So, as I said before, it, they are cumulative descriptions. You have They have to be true at the same time. And basically the condition number one is that you have to have a Swiss nationality or nationality of a EU country or EFTA country. And if that is true, your diploma has to follow the EU guidelines, which let's be honest, any European university does. Organism that gives this diploma has to be an official organism, which let's be honest, any European university will as well. That's the one I did, the direct one. It's very straightforward. Once that is met, you just send all of the documents that you are told to sell. You sell, send them in the way that you are told to sell them, to send them, such as not originals, but uh, notarized copies, and you should be fine. Now, if you happen to be born, let's say in South America, any country in the Middle East, Asia, you are directly out and you cannot do this. So let's see if the indirect one is for you. Once again, I will put the link in the description that sends you here. As you can see, it is again BAG website. And um, at the very beginning, we already have the conditions that need to be met. You can also scroll down and you have the formula that you would use to apply to send per post. And again, here are the conditions. And once again, the condition number one is that you need to have the citizenship of either Switzerland or EU EFTA country. By the way, um, also applies if you are married to someone who does, both for the direct and indirect one. But once again, if you uh, were born outside of the European Union um, and you are not married to someone who was, then you are out again already. Uh, the other two conditions is that the diploma has been uh, recognized in the European Union or EFTA country and that in that country where it has been recognized you have worked at least three years out of the last five. So this is a bit weird of a condition. Basically means you have to be European, you studied maybe somewhere else, and you were approved to work inside of the European Union, and you've been living somewhere in the European Union for like five years and working, and now you are allowed to come to Switzerland. 
But once again, most of the people that will probably want to apply weren't born in the European Union anyway. It's probably people born in South America or born in uh, Middle East, Asia, who once again don't have the possibility to get their diploma recognized. So it's sad to say, but if you were born, at least according to Swiss eyes, in the wrong place, then you cannot get recognized. But not all hope is lost. There are some things you can do. So uh, let's see in which cases the indirect approbation makes sense. Let's say you are, for example, uh, European, you studied somewhere else and you came back to your home country, for example, Germany, and you've been working there for some years and now you feel like you want to go to Switzerland. Then you do meet all the requirements. Or let's say that you come from India and uh, you went to Germany in the first place. You've been living in Germany a few years and now you feel like going to Switzerland. But turns out that because you are Indian, you cannot go to Switzerland. Well, in that case, you could stay in Germany long enough so that you become a German citizen. And only then, because you are a German citizen and you have been working three years in a row in Germany, then you could apply for the indirect recognition of your diploma in Switzerland. By the way, the conditions to become a German citizen are basically to live in Germany for at least eight years and to do an exam. So if say you are already in Germany and you feel like going to Switzerland and you've been there for three, four years, might as well just finish the specialty, stay a bit longer, become a German citizen and go to Switzerland. However, I understand that this is not for everyone and it's very annoying. So if you are in fifth or sixth year of your studies and you have been born I don't know, let's say in Egypt, then it would be too much of a hassle. It would be too annoying to plan to do 10 years or eight years in Germany and then move to Switzerland. It's already too much of planning. You can do it. It's possible. It's like a backdoor. But um, I understand that this is not the way you plan your life. But once again, not all hope is lost. For those of you who cannot apply for the direct one and cannot apply for the indirect one and are not willing of going around the world for 10 years until you come back to Switzerland, there is a possibility for you. And this is called the registering of not recognizable diplomas in Switzerland. And it's basically for those, as I said, whose diplomas just cannot be recognized according to the Swiss standards. They cannot be recognized but what you can do is registering them. Scroll all the way down and you find a PDF that tells you what you should do. And first of all, the conditions, the most important part. What are the conditions? The conditions is first of all that you are allowed to work in the country where you were given your diploma, that everything is fine. Second condition for doctors, that your studies took at least 5,500 hours between theory and practice, which is a standard anyway. It's about six years of studies. So basically everyone could get their diploma registered in Switzerland. Now, don't get me wrong. Registering is not the same as recognized. They are not in the same niveau. It's not a lower thing, but it's not the same. And you probably don't care. What it, if it's the same or if it's something different? The question is, can I work? And the answer is that it's complicated. It is not up to Mebeko to say whether you're allowed to work in the whole Switzerland. Mebeko allows you to work in the whole Switzerland privately under your own responsibility. But if you want to work publicly for a hospital, it is up to each single individual canton to make the rule that says whether you can or you cannot. And it's up to them to decide, which is a bit uncomfortable because honestly, you don't go to a country just to find out that in this region, I'm not welcome. And in this one I am. And then you go to the region where you are welcome, but who knows, maybe there's a change of, poli of politics and in 10 years, you're not welcome anymore. Um, now, I haven't emailed each single canton asking for information and so far I haven't received any answer of the ones I have emailed. 
But anyway, even if all of them did accept you as of today, the question remains of whether you will be accepted or not in the future. But you could at least work here for some time. So do you always stay at a different reality than those who have been recognized? Yes, unless you do the national federal exam of medicine, in which case you get a federal diploma. And this is the last step of the things you can do. And it is possible for all of those whose diplomas aren't recognizable. So you could just register your diploma, start working in Switzerland, and whenever you feel like it, apply for the exam with your experience, with your language. And theoretically, you should be uh, fine. You should pass the exam and then officially become a Swiss doctor with your federal diploma. They have a whole website on how to apply for this exam. And if you click here on the left, when it comes to the human medicine, you can find a lot of information when it comes to the exam, how it will be, and what you need to learn to prepare for it. It is basically a theoretical exam on one side and on the other side, a practical exam. Uh, it is OSCE style, OSCE style, what means that you have different stations and then you rotate and you have like couple of mini exams and that determines whether you are fine or not. I assume you have done it already. I myself had to do it when I graduated in the country where I graduated. So you sh it shouldn't be something too strange for you to do these kind of exams. So there you go. Those are the main possibilities for you. Remember, if you are 100% European, both living and studying and being born in, just go direct. And if you don't fit the requirements for any of those two, remember that it's always possible to register your diploma, start working in Switzerland, and whenever you're ready, if you want, you could do the exam and become officially a Swiss doctor just like everyone else. Anyway, um, now you know based on where you were born, which nationality do you have and your diploma, you know in which category you can apply. And basically, it is possible to do it with more or less steps. It is possible. And yeah, just check the description below. There's a bunch of links, a lot of information. And yeah, inform yourselves and hope you make the right decision. If there is anything that I've missed, then please let me know in the comments below. If you have any information regarding to which cantons allow this, you can also post it in the comments. I'm sure that everyone will be very happy about it. And other than that, I wish you all the best until we see each other next time. Take care.